Hey boys and girls, thanks for joining me today. Today I want to look at something we started in class today called subtraction on a hundreds chart. And I wanted to make the video with you because this is not something that a lot of our parents are used to. This isn't how we learned how to subtract. So I thought I'd make a little video to show us how we do this to see if it would help you and help them know what we're doing in class. So let's start with some problems. We're gonna do a few together and hopefully you'll get better as we go. So first, let's look at our first problem, 47 minus 21. We know that we have 47 minus 21, so we're gonna start with the number 47. I've already shown us that here. Now, the question is, what do we subtract? We're gonna subtract 21. So when we go, when we subtract 21, we could just, you know, we have our 47 already picked. We could just count backwards 21 times, but that would take forever and nobody wants to do that. So what's a better way to do it? Well, first we look at the number 21 and we know that the number 21 equals 20 plus one. This is something you should have been talking about. We've been talking about at least in our class. So 21 equals 20 plus one. Now you might be thinking to yourself, wait, that doesn't make sense. How did I get that? Well, if you're not sure how to get it, let's go over it real quick. When you look at the number 21, you draw a line in between it like we did here, and you see we have a 20 and a one, or a two and a one. This is the ones place, so that's one one, and that is the tens place, and so that is two tens. And two tens equals 20. We know that if we count by tens two times. 10, 20, that's 20. So that's where I get the 20 and the one from. So let's go back to what we know. Um, 47 minus 21, if you draw a line between it, there's a 20 and a one, and that's where we get 21 um, equals 20 plus one. So what do we do with that? How do I work with that? So what I wanna do is I wanna take what I know. When I have the tens, I move up the chart. Now, how do I know I move up the chart? Well, we can look here at our numbers, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. But if we go up, we're subtracting by 10 every time. 60, 50, 40, 30, 20. And it's the same thing here, 59, 49, 39. So every time we move up one square, we go up one 10. So we know that if we have two tens, I can take two of our circles and go up two times. Count by tens with me, 10, 20. So I'm at 27. Am I done? No, I still have the one. So how do I move with a one? I go to the left. If you notice when you go across the chart, every time you go to the left, you get one smaller. And when we subtract, we're getting smaller. So again, I'm gonna take one of my circles and I'm gonna go over one. And I land on the 26. So I know that 47 minus 21 equals 26. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, I'm not so sure yet. Let's do another one together. 96 minus 63. These are bigger numbers. Is this going to work here? Absolutely it is. So let's start with our first number. We have our first number 96, and we're going to find it on our hundreds chart. We're going to go ahead and pick it. And so now that we have it on our hundreds chart, we have to ask ourselves, what do I subtract? What am I taking away? I'm taking away the 63. And again, we have our 96 chosen already, and we're gonna subtract 63. Now, obviously, again, we're not gonna count backwards 63 times. Way too many, and it would take way too long. Again, we know that 63 equals 60 plus three. Now, some of you are probably thinking, okay, you showed this to me once already. Can you show me how to do it again? Absolutely, I can. Let's do it again together. We take 63 and we draw a line between it. We have two sides. We have the one side and the 10 side. This tells me how many tens I have. I have six. Count by tens six times. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And I have three ones. And of course, three ones equals three. So I've got my six tens that make 60 and my three ones that equal three. And that's where I get 63 equals 60 plus 3. Again, I'm still at my 96 down there. So 
Again, if we remember before, when I count by tens, I go up the hundreds chart. So how many times am I going to go up? There's my answer, six. So I'm going to move six of these over. Let's count by tens. Ten. Twenty. Thirty. Forty. Fifty. And sixty. So I've gone up sixty already. Again, am I done? Of course not. I haven't done my ones. So let's do our ones next. Now, of course, we know that when we go to the ones, we move to the left. So let's move over three times. Let's count together. One, two, three. And I landed on 33, which lets me know that 96 minus 63 equals 33. Is it getting a little bit easier this time? I hope so. You can always go back and rewatch this. Now, I want to do one more problem with you because everything doesn't look just like this. Let's look at this last question. 58 minus 6. Now, I'm looking at the number 6 and I'm thinking to myself, I don't see any 10s here. So, I'm going to go to that question and I'm going to go ahead and put my circle on my 58. And then I have to ask myself, how many times do I go back? Am I subtracting? Six. Again, no tens, just ones. And we've already said that when we have ones, we go to the left. How many times? Six. So let's move six times. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So if I move that six times, I see that 58 minus six equals two. Guys, I hope this helps. This is how we're going to continue to do subtraction for a few days until we try another strategy. Good luck, and I hope um, you're enjoying math as much as me. Thank you guys for coming.